Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the Woke Cemetery to lay the mainstream media career to rest of Katherine Harlow, known to her colleagues at CNN as Poopy. The burial of this media career, it brings about mixed emotions. Poopy has been part of the CNN family for over 15 years. 15 years! of huge embarrassing failure. At a network known for huge embarrassing failures, Poppy Harlow was one of the best. She failed miserably. She failed unbelievably. And most importantly, she failed anonymously because most people would not recognize her in a one photo lineup. We have prepared her burial plot next to the donut diva, Brian Stelter. At this time, we ask you to bow your heads as we take a moment of silence to honor the failed media career of Poppy Harlow. Another career bites the dust at CNN. Normally, when we are paying our respects at the Woke Cemetery, I put together a video montage for you guys so we can properly honor and remember the career that is being buried. Unfortunately for the family and friends of Poppy Harlow, I was unable to put together a compilation of highlights for her career because... There were none. I have been covering CNN here on the channel for the last few years now. And all that time, the only memorable moment I remember with Poppy Harlow is when she stormed off set after Don Lemon claimed that Nick Haley was past her prime. Well, KC, who is Nick Haley? You've already forgotten about St. Nick? I know most people only think of St. Nick during the month of December, but Nick Haley, she was able to extend her time in the spotlight by an extra six, maybe even eight weeks this year with her delusion that she actually had a chance to become president. During her campaign of failure last year, Nikki Haley claimed that John Biden was past his prime. Now, of course, Nikki Haley was telling the truth. I don't think John Biden ever had a prime to get past. But in response to Nikki Haley's attack on our fearless leader, Donnie Lemon accused Nikki Haley of also being past her prime. According to Donnie, by the time women are in their 40s, they are past their prime. This caused Poppy Harlow to storm off set expressing her fake outrage towards Don Lemon. Ironically enough, 12 months later, at the age of 41, Poppy Harlow is now storming out of CNN altogether. According to the New York Post, Poppy Harlow tendered her resignation to CNN on Friday morning. Now, this is pure speculation on my part. I don't have any sources collecting woke welfare from CNN. If I did, I would tell them to get a real job. But this is pure speculation on my part. I think CNN allowed Poppy Harlow to resign as a courtesy. I think they wanted to be respectful. They didn't want to embarrass Poppy Harlow like they embarrassed Donnie and his lemons last year. Whether she resigned or not, I think the end result was going to be the same. One way or another, Poppy Harlow would no longer be collecting woke welfare from CNN. But KC, how can you be so sure? Well, let's just look at the facts. Back in February, Poppy Harlow was removed from CNN This Morning and pretty much taken off of television. CNN This Morning, it is the show that Poppy Harlow used to host with Don Lemon and Caitlin Collins. Katie Roo! Katie Roo! After six months of absolutely abysmal ratings, CNN, they blamed the failure on Don Lemon and added another bruise to his bruised caboose as they kicked his ass out the door. For reasons unknown, Caitlin Collins was actually promoted to prime time after this, where she consistently ranks last place. Rue's ratings are so bad, she's no longer competing with MSNBC and Fox News. Rue Rue! She is competing with News Nation, home of the originator of shirtless selfies, Chris Cuomo. Hey, it's me, shirtless Chrissy! Poppy Harlow ended up hanging around the morning dump at CNN, hosting the show with some doofus named Phil Mattingly, no relation to Don. I guess executives at CNN were hoping that by putting a Mattingly on the show, they would attract old fans of Major League Baseball. I mean, Don Mattingly. He was a big star in the 1980s and the 1990s. Spent his entire career with the New York Yankees, and the year after he retired, Yankees end up winning the World Series. But anyway, 
Maybe CNN was hoping a Mattingly would increase ratings for their morning dump. If that was the hope, did not take long for those false hopes to be immediately dashed. Poppy Harlow and not Don Mattingly, they averaged just 322,000 viewers in January. When Don Lemon was the star of the show, the ratings were nothing. Poppy Harlow took nothing and she turned those ratings into a steaming turd. CNN President Mark Thompson, he quickly realized the duo of Poppy and Phil Mattingly, they were performing worse than the trio of huge embarrassing failures that hosted the show last year. So he removed Poppy and Philly from the show and replaced them with Casey Hunt. Well, Casey, who in the hell's Casey Hunt? <laughs> oh, you know, another person collecting money from CNN to underperform. Somehow, some way. Casey Hunt took the steaming turd from Poppy Harlow and she turned it into a shit sandwich. Somehow, some way, ratings for this show, they have fallen even further. If ratings decline even further, they will be too low to be measured. But after removing Poppy and Philly from the show, CNN, they reassigned Phil Mattingly to a position called Chief Domestic Correspondent. Don't ask me what that means because I have no idea. I guess Phil Mattingly corresponds on domestic issues. More than likely, CNN buried him in the dungeon. Supposedly, Poppy Harlow was offered an unspecified role at the network. Now, my inside sources tell me, executives at CNN, they offered to make Poppy Harlow their highest paid janitor. Unfortunately, though, she just wasn't interested. I mean, from her perspective, if she's going to be a janitor, she might as well be a high profile janitor in the WNBA dump. And who can blame her? Who can blame her? Why would you want to be an anonymous janitor at CNN when you had the potential to be a star janitor in the WNBA? All kidding aside, though, it's unclear where Poppy Harlow goes from here. Maybe she'll get a job at MSNBC, a network that measures their audience by the millions instead of being measured by the dozens at CNN. Perhaps she follows the path of Don Lemon and creates a YouTube channel that no one watches. Maybe she joins the staff at Woke U, where she can teach the next generation how to twist the news to fit your own personal narrative. Honestly, though... I don't think anyone gives a single fuck where Poppy Harlow goes from here. The more interesting question is, where does CNN go from here? A couple of months ago, I told you guys there would be major changes coming at CNN. Instead of unknown staffers behind the scenes losing their jobs, there would be unknown people on the screen losing their jobs. A week or two ago, we saw it happen with Charles Barkley and the woman responsible for applying toothpaste to Oprah's toothbrush, Gail King. After six months of ratings failure, CNN quietly canceled King Charles. Now, of course... In keeping with tradition at CNN, Gail King, she refused to call it a cancellation. According to Gail, this was always meant to be a limited series. We have reached our limit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the rest of us reached our limit back in November, right after your show premiered. Charlie and Gail, they lose their jobs. Now we have Poppy Harlow. Question is... Who's next? Which underperformer at CNN will lose their job next? Will it be Andy Cooper? According to reports, Andy Cooper has taken a break from polishing the turd to polish his resume. He is expecting to lose his job after the election. Could it be Wolf Blitzer? Woof, woof, woof. Maybe it's Chris Wallace. Actually, it should be Chris Wallace. That should be an easy decision for Mark Thompson to make. CNN's paying Chris Wallace $7 million a year. What are they getting in return? Let's see. They built their streaming platform around Chris Wallace. After three weeks, it went bankrupt. They gave him a weekend show. I believe it aired primetime on Sunday nights. Who's talking to Chris Wallace? The short answer was no one. They decided to rename the show. They got really creative with the new name. After months and months of failure, they decided to rename the show The Chris Wallace Show. And yes, it's still a disaster. For $7 million a year, Chris Wallace delivers around 600,000 viewers to CNN. CNN. They could show someone peeling the skin off an apple with their ass and draw more than 600,000 viewers, and it would be a hell of a lot cheaper. For years, 
I have been saying that CNN doesn't have an identity. The problem when you don't have an identity and you're dealing with constant failure, you're dealing with new ideas that aren't working, aren't resonating, you have a tendency to fall back on old, comfortable habits. This is one of my biggest criticisms of Willie Green in New Orleans. He constantly falls back on old habits, comfortable rotations, knowing they're not going to work. Pelicans struggle offensively. We had two elite shooters on the bench picking splinters out of their own ass. Willie Green won't play them. With a team that struggles to generate points, instead of playing his shooters, Willie Green falls back on his comfort zone by playing defensive players. End result, always the same. Failure. It appears that CNN is doing the same thing. Supposedly, CNN wants to be more of a centrist network. Supposedly, they want to focus less on personalities and focus more on delivering the news. Yet, for some reason... Over the last few weeks, CNN has welcomed back some of the very people who were responsible for sinking their Titanic. In the past few weeks, CNN has brought back Jeffrey Tubin, the dude who was spanking his wanker during a Zoom meeting. CNN held a staff meeting that day where I guess they were discussing potential stories to discuss on the air. People are talking, giving their ideas, while Jeff Tubin is looking at Grinder and peeling the skin off the cucumber. CNN brought back Don Lemon. They also arranged for transportation for the donut diva Brian Stelter by renting a forklift to bring him back to the studio. Again, where does CNN go from here? Because it seems like they're going backwards. It seems like they are relying on the same formula that sunk the Titanic to begin with. It's going to be interesting to see who's next. Who will be next to go at CNN? You tell me. Will it be Andy Cooper, Wolf Blitzer, Caitlin Collins, one of the unknown people in their primetime lineup? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. This will be the only video today. I am actually recording this on Friday afternoon because we are going to Game 3 tomorrow in New Orleans. I'll be back on Sunday, hopefully... Hopefully, I'll be able to get a video up to you guys on Sunday. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys know the drill. Enjoy your weekend.